Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Heidi Alaga. Danell has the day off. Well, we, we begin at Perryville Prison in Goodyear, west of Phoenix, where temperatures inside the cells reportedly reached 100 degrees after the cooling systems failed over the weekend. Erica Stapleton has the details. Hot temps outside mean hot temps inside for many women locked up at Perryville Prison. The I-Team hearing from eight women currently incarcerated there all complaining about extreme heat, broken AC, inadequate swamp coolers, and some cells hitting more than 100 degrees. One woman calling cells concrete coffins. Another telling 12 News she had to be treated for heat exhaustion on Monday after she passed out. There's a range of heat-related injuries that can occur. The Arizona Department of Corrections admits that some of the AC systems and evaporative coolers or swamp coolers failed over the weekend but stated they were also fixed over the weekend. In an email Monday night, a correction spokesperson wrote that two units that house nearly 1,300 women only have the swamp coolers, not AC. And when temps go above 115 and it gets humid like it did this weekend, the spokesperson called conditions not optimal. They say the average temp in cells during the heat wave is 85 degrees, but wouldn't tell us what the highest recorded temperature was. Several of the units at Perryville, I've been in them before, they're basically giant metal sheds. Kareen Kendrick is the deputy director of the ACLU's prison project. The swamp coolers do not provide the cooling that you need. Despite DOC saying things were fixed, many women told 12 News there were still issues on Monday and Tuesday. Some saying they felt they couldn't escape the heat. When the I-Team shot video outside Perryville Tuesday morning, inmates were outside in triple-digit temps, some trying to get shade, others appearing to be part of a work crew. People who are in prison, they can't go to a cooling center. Air conditioning is not a luxury. Air conditioning is a lifesaver. The state knows this is an issue, allotting funds for upgrades at Perryville in the latest budget. State contract documents from May 2023 show the state picked a vendor to deliver two AC units to Perryville by June 30th. Over email, the corrections spokesperson said that didn't happen and they'd have to order new ones, a project they expect to finish next year. But when I talked to the vendor's manager over the phone, he said that the units were delivered on June 5th and that the state paid for them. We circled back with DOC, but they haven't clarified anything.